Good morning students. This is my first video for the ninth class for chemistry in which today I am going to introduce the chapter matter in our surroundings. I am going to tell you what are the content which are in this chapter. In this chapter we will study about the physical nature of matter. Other than that, we will study about the characteristics of matter. Then, we will study about the states of matter such as solid, liquid and gas. Then, we will go on one by one by the interchanging of the states. Then, we will study about the latent heat of fusion, latent heat of vaporization and what are the effects of pressure and heat on the gases, liquids and solids. And on the last, we will study about the evaporation factor. In evaporation, we will study about the factors and the daily uses of it. So, come on the chapter, matter in our surrounding. The first word is matter. This word has been heard by us in 8th class also. And anything that have mass and occupy space is called matter. This is known to us. The things which are visible as or not visible to us, such as air, chair, table, walls, whatever you see with your eyes is said to be the matter. Even the air which is not visible to you, only you can feel it, it also is known as matter. Right? So, the matter has three states, solid, liquid and gas. But, we can see the matter. The matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms are the tiny particles by which the matter is made up of. Matter is a continuous sheet. We can see the matter but not the atoms. So atoms are known as the building block of any matter which is present or not. The first property is that that we should know how tiny are the particles, how tiny are the atoms. Can we see them? So let us imagine a one case. If I put a dot on this blackboard, this is a dot. This is the smallest thing which is known to us. The tip of an all pen or this dot. But I tell you, this dot also contains millions of atoms. So let us take an example and try to understand how tiny are the particles. Let us take four test tubes. This is test tube number one, test tube number two. This is test tube number third and this is test tube number fourth. You can take many more test tubes also. Let us fill these test tubes with water. The all four test tubes are now filled with water molecules. This is simple water. Now, we take a compound which is known as potassium permanganate that is KMN4. We pour this a spoon of potassium permanganate into the test tube 1. As soon as the KMN4 gets dissolved into it, this becomes 
डार्क पर्पल इन कलर डार्क पर्पल इन कलर दिस मीन्स द एटम्स ऑफ अ के एन ऑफ होल है डिजॉल्व इन टू द वॉटर नाउ इफ यू टेक फ्यू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ वॉटर फ्रॉम टेस्यूम नंबर वन एंड पोर इट इन टू द टेस्यूम नंबर टू यू विल सी द कलर ऑफ द वॉटर here also becomes purple but this is somewhere lighter than the test tube 1 now again if we pour the water of test tube 1 into the test tube 3 then you see that this also becomes very light this shows that the atoms which were present in test tube 1 they reach to test tube number 2 and again reach to test tube number 3 because here also you can watch a slightly light purple color over here if you pour this water into the test tube number 4 it also becomes lighter purple in color this activity shows that the atoms are so tiny so small that from test tube number 1 they are reaching up to the test tube number 4 even the color change shows us that the atoms are present in test tube number 1 then into the 2 then into 3 and then into 4 so this activity shows us how tiny are the particles okay tomorrow we are going to discuss about the some other characteristics of matter thank you for today